Sometimes we just gotta go. Sometimes we just gotta move. We can become so complacent in our lives. We just, there's no movement. There's no action, so to speak. You know, God wants us to do things, to, to get busy, to make things happen. We can become so, in a sense, fat and happy with our Christianity, with our relationship with God sometimes. That we just kind of let stuff slide. We let things go that we should be taking action in. God guides our lives and puts passion in our hearts for certain things. And we just let it slide. Maybe it's due to fear. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times because we're uncertain if we're able to do the task that God has for us. Or maybe it's just the devil comes against our mind and, and, and says, this isn't for you. <laughs> so we plan our own way. And what begins to happen is, is we become so sedentary, so, 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 so accustomed to doing nothing that it becomes the norm. It becomes normal. So what we got to do sometimes is shake things up, try something new, get up off the couch, serve in an area of ministry or, or with our family or whatever it is that we have never done before. Sometimes we got to shake it up. Sometimes we got to just go. And that's good for us sometimes. I know change is scary. <laughs> Believe me, I do. I'm not a big fan of change. But I've realized over the years that it's an important aspect of my life. When things become too normal, so to speak, I question what I'm doing, if I'm doing it correctly. So let me encourage you today. Let me inspire you today. Try something different. Do something new. I'm going to look into that myself. What haven't I done? What, what can I do a little different? What can I do a little better? Hallelujah. We need to keep moving. We need to keep things fluid. We need to serve God in all the different ways that we can imagine. And God will provide us strength. Not everything's going <laughs> to, not everything's going to be successful we will fail in a lot of areas but that's also a learning curve in a way that we can grow in God and grow in ourselves ladies and gentlemen sometimes we just got to go sometimes we just got to do and trust God trust God for wisdom guidance direction so today I pray for God's wisdom guidance and direction over your life and over mine as we venture out into new areas of our lives, as we go forward into reaching more people for God, for raising our families in the way that God would have us to. Sometimes we just got to go. How do you go? How do you keep motivated? Put it in the comments. Let me know. I'm curious because I need that. <laughs> I need motivation too sometimes, but it's not good for us to just sit and wait and wait and wait. Yes, there are times when we need to wait on God and we need to take our time, but there are times when God's pushing us and pushing us and pushing us and saying, come on, man, come on, lady, let's roll, let's roll. We got stuff to do and I will guide you and I will lead you along this path, hallelujah. Sometimes we just gotta go. So let's do it, let's do it together. I'm gonna focus and try to find a few things that I can do that maybe I've been putting off or, or not doing to the fullest. And I'll pray for you. Leave a message in the comments, you know, and, and if, how you would like me to pray for you or message me, whatever it is. And, and I would be more than happy to pray for you. And together we can go. Together we can press forward in what God has for our lives instead of just sitting around sometimes feeling comfortable which is a good thing but sometimes god's urging us and urging us to get up off the couch and go out into the world so i love you god bless you have a great day and like i said how do you keep going leave it in the comments i love you god bless you i pray this helped you share it with somebody else today